Hi everyone and welcome again to One Language, One Soul. First of all, I'm sorry for my voice but I've been a few days a bit sick and this is the best I can do today, okay? Um, so sorry in advance. My voice isn't down that bad, right? Winter is coming. <laughs> So here we go. Some days ago we learned about the Brexit and the results. Um, for those of you who don't know what the Brexit is, um, it is the, the referendum in the United Kingdom where people from there decided if they wanted to leave the, the European Union or stay there. So that morning I decided to make a video about the situation, expressing just my humble opinion about it and how I felt about it. Just my opinion, okay? Um, for some reason, uh, got a lot of uh, negative comments on it um, and I'll leave the video here if you want to take a look at it. Apart from that, I know that that video wasn't a typical video that you are used to see in my channel and I know that it didn't have much to do with languages and all these topics. But today we are back to normal and we are going to talk about languages again. And you may say, well, why did you start talking about the Brexit again then? I'm going to talk about languages, but specifically the consequences of the Brexit on languages, and specifically on English. To start with, nowadays there are 24 official languages in the European Union, such as German, uh, Finnish, French, um, Hungarian, Bulgarian, Irish, and many others among them. But now the question is, what happens with English? English is not only one of the official languages in the EU, but it is considered the first and most used of them. So now people are wondering about two things. First, as the UK is leaving, should English still be one of the official languages? And second, if so, should it continue to be the most used language? On the one hand, it seems that the status of English will not be affected by this situation, as according to some statistics, 38% of Europeans speak English as a second language. On the other hand, however, without the UK, English would no longer be one of the official languages in the EU because some other countries, such as Ireland or Malta, requested the recognition of Irish and Maltese as official languages because English was already requested by the UK, obviously. And each country could only propose one language. And obviously, Ireland wanted to propose their own language, apart from English, and Malta the same. So I think that the only solution for this so far is some kind of agreement among the countries so that they can change the rules. In addition, as we know, there's always been a huge rivalry between the English language and French, and now this seems like the perfect opportunity for some politicians to try to put or restore the language to an upper status and then substitute English. For example, in this twist that I recover here for you. So what do you think about it? Do you think English should still be one of the official languages, or do you think that it should be one of the official languages, but not the most used of them. And for the record, I'm not trying to create or make any wall among languages or people. Don't go to politics, this is just about languages. I know sometimes they are related, but try not to go there, right? And sorry again for my voice, guys, but I couldn't do better. Thumbs up if you like the video, and share if you think more people could enjoy it from it. See you in another video. Cheers.